guys. So I wanted to do um, a little update because I was completely surprised today. Um, I'm not sure if you remember a while back, I did a uh, chop and prop video with one of my royal queens. Um, she was growing really scraggly and I chopped her up into pieces um, in hopes that I would be able to activate some of the uh, dormant um, growth points that she had or buds that she had. And she also um, had a very small baby in in the pot like um, coming up just two like tiny little leaves right I want to show you what this this crazy girl has done look at this okay hold on let me set her down this right here hold on there we go this right here this is all the baby this is the little baby that was there is now not a little baby and she has activated right here and right over here so she's like she's gonna be nice and bushy and full again instead of all scraggly but look at this i cannot believe i mean like i said if you if you watch the video you seen that the baby was tiny look at the size of this leaf like i mean <laughs> i'm so proud of her like, you're so proud of your plants sometimes. You're just like, that's awesome. Um, I actually have a Bloody Mary that I had done the same thing with. Because, you know, a lot of times if you get a plant and say, for instance, um, I'm reaching. Say, for instance, um, it's there's some space in between the leaves and you see a, um, you see a bud, but... Um, it's not doing anything. It's growing more leaves up top and then those buds that are there just aren't doing anything. They're just little nubs. Well, um, if you want to, you can always chop. And what'll happen is you chop the top part off. Top cuttings always grow faster um, than the bottom parts do. So top cuttings are awesome. You can, you can start a new plant with a top cutting. It'll grow fast. It'll be super rewarding. Um, and then, let's see, I actually have this here. This was in my last um, chop and prop. And let's see if I can set this down and you'll be able to see. There's a growth point here, this one here. There's a tiny one right here. And there's another one right down here. So it's gonna be full too. Um, but anytime, anytime you feel like uh, you wish your plant was a little bit fuller, um, a lot of times you can, you can top it at the top and it will uh it'll reactivate those um, buds i actually just did that yesterday with my um red heart philodendron you can see it's got this bud and it popped that out but then it never did anything with it and then down in close to the soil line i don't know if you can see that right there that little red part that's another bud so because i chopped it um it's it's going to activate those two and it'll grow in. And then as that plant grows in, it'll grow closer to the soil line and I won't have this long gangly stem plus, you know, the plant. So with my, I need to make some room. Hold on, I gotta put stuff back. I'm pulling everything down and then not putting it back. Like I've got all the room in the world in here and I don't. Okay, so I did that with um, this Bloody Mary. Let's see if I can turn it well so you can see it. I did that with this Bloody Mary. Um, I had top cut it, and I recently just sold the top cutting off of it. But you can see it activated two buds here and over here. Let's see if I can spin this some more so you can really see, there you go. So you can see this one here, this one, and then this one over here. So now this plant is essentially going to be twice as thick. So um, I intend to get this on a moss pole and um, once it's on a moss pole, you know, it'll climb and wrap around even more and be a fuller plant because of the two um, active notes. Or if I chose to, I could cut these at both of these points and then have essentially three plants because this would ultimately, the, the main portion of this plant, because there's so much left to it, um, it would ultimately activate new nodes and it would do the same thing all over again. So when, um, when you're cutting your plants and when you're trying to decide 
whether you should propagate or not. Um, you know, just make sure that, uh, that you have a nice healthy plant to start out with. And then after that, you know, look at the plant and, and say, you know, should it, um, does this need to get fuller or, or, you know, whatever, I don't know. Don't chop up healthy plants just because. I mean, let them grow big, let them be happy. Only cut them if they need to be groomed and need to be maintained. I mean, I guess, you know, sell a couple starts, make a little bit of money back, kind of pay for your plant. I suppose that's cool and all, but the plant wants to be big. It wants to grow. <laughs> so unless it does crazy shit, does crazy shit, chop it. Teach it who's boss. And then it'll drop some leaves and teach you that you're not the boss. Oh Lord, hold on. This is a mess up here. I'm so short. I need a step stool. I don't have one. I've got shelves taller than I am. It's ridiculous. I'll deal with it in a minute, whatever. Anywho, um, I just wanted to give you guys an update on that Royal Queen because like I was shocked at um, how how big that little baby had gotten in there because it was just tiny. The leaves were like this big. It's literally, it's in one of the videos. I'll have to go back and like see if I can screenshot and do a side-by-side -side or something. But anyways, um, yeah. See you later.